On this Saturday morning, it is time for Imagine It. Chief Scientist Carl Nelson is here from the Imagination Station. You've already made us put on gloves. <laughs> yeah, we have right. safety glasses here. I'm a little bit concerned. We're going to do a little holiday chemistry. Okay. okay. Now, the reaction takes about a minute to happen, so we we're going to start pouring stuff, and then we'll talk about what's going on. Okay. okay? Safety so glasses on. Safety glasses and gloves on. Good to go. First thing you do, we each have our own little uh, container here. We're going to mm -hmm. start with the flasks. Go ahead and pour that liquid into there. So there's actually two reactions that are happening here, and we can put those aside. Now the next step are these little beakers. Mm -hmm. We're going right. to add this and then cork it, pick up your flask, and swirl it around. Okay, so, so take, out, take out the <laughs> right. uh, funnel. Okay. Pour. Ready? And then, yep. Pour it in. Pour. Pour. Take the funnel out. Swirl. Put the cork in and swirl. And we get swirl. this horribly nasty looking sort of compound. Yeah. And you don't want to, you can yeah. turn it sideways. Turn it sideways. Okay. okay. We're Gross. trying to do is coat the entire inside of the beaker okay. with okay. this compound. Now, one of the things that I think people take for granted these days are mirrors. Okay, for most of human history, we didn't have the really nice mirrors that we have nowadays, which sure. are like a silver coating yes. or aluminum coating. Mm -hmm. Well, inside these flasks, we actually have two reactions happening with a silver compound. And what's happening is very, very slowly, some silver metal is coming out of the solution, those really? three clear solutions, and it's beginning to coat the inside of the flask. I'm starting to see myself, Carl. So if you, yeah, I know. I know if you, <laughs> yeah. Mirror, mirror. Now, Tony, you want to <laughs> invert yours, keep it, you okay. know, you want to get the whole yeah. thing coated, the whole Coat. inside. Okay. Now, Every time I show people this, it's it's like magic, right? You can show them the end product, which is like a silvered flask. Sure. But when you actually do it yourself and see this, yeah, you're I'm seeing myself up, more clearly. It starts out kind of dark. <laughs> now this was actually um, demonstrated first in like 1835 by a German chemist. Okay. Came up with a way of actually inexpensively and simply coating glass with silver. Because huh. before that. Your mirrors were just uh, sheets of metal that were polished, copper, bronze, things like that. They weren't very reflective. They weren't very nice. Mm -hmm. And so, as you can see, you're actually wow. getting. Wow. And it's like a Christmas ornament. Like that's like what I was Christmas thinking. Ornament. Yes. And Tony, this is your Christmas gift for Excellent. me. Excellent. Oh. So you get to keep this. Yeah, and it stays like this once it's it done. It will stay like this. This exactly. is so neat. I wish there was a way that we could show it a little bit better, but zoom it's, in. Yeah, it's so if, neat. If the camera could like <laughs> zoom in maybe on one of them. You can, can actually stand this maybe way. hold it up. Ready? Yeah. Oh, look, you can see us. Oh, oh that's kind of scary. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too <Sorry>. close. <laughs> so, simple chemistry um, of how to create a Just mirror by getting silver compounds to come out of solution onto the glass. And it was what was used to create mirrors sure. for quite some time. Nowadays, they're done with like a vapor deposition. You coat it with aluminum and then you paint the back of it. And just to clarify, I mean, these are chemicals. That's why we have, uh, you oh, know. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. something we should not be doing at home. This here. is not what you're going to do at home. But you can come to the Science Center <laughs> and we do things like this all the time. Wow, so. very neat. Don't invite Carl to your house. Well, I'll tell you <laughs> what, we're, we're taking a look at Christmas past and now we're taking a look at the way that they used to do things in the exactly. past. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, Carl, thanks so much for coming and I'll tell you what, if you would like to see any of these experiments firsthand, you can head down to the Imagination Station, take a look at your screen. There are the hours. They are open today starting in just a few minutes here, 10 o'clock until 5 and tomorrow noon to 5 and that's down in downtown Toledo. Exactly. Wonderful. Carl, thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. Cheers. Let's turn it over to Dave with sports. <laughs>